you. Are you well? I'll let you get to me once now, baby. Oh my god. Oh my days. Well, I mean to have for that to have fallen off of the fireplace and only spill that much. You know, today today's gonna be a good day. I'll let you get to me once now, baby. But I'll never let you in again. I'll let you get to me once now, baby. But I'll never let you in again. <sighs> I thought you were. Oh. I'll let you get to me. I'll let you get to me. Get to me. I'll let you get to me. I'll let you get to me. Get to me. I'll let you get to me. I'll let you get to me. Get to me. I'll let you get to me. I'll let you get to me. Don't really know why I'm walking off. I need you guys. I know, Jess. Hmm. Oh, look at her. You all sleepy, Flicky. You all sleepy. Mm. Oh, you are good, aren't you, pups? <laughs> oh, come on. Right, today I am feeling. You know what? Not BBC Sounds, Workout Wednesday, not Spotify, not SoundCloud. I want to listen to. The radio. Stick it on. Give me some good vibes. Music on the way for you. From Stormzy, but first it's time for your latest news and sport with Ben Mundy and Newsbeat. The time is 2.30. Oh. England's World Cup heroes speak to Newsbeat. Hey! Oh, sh not me at all. Well, I mean, maybe I'll warm up and find out what's going on in the world, you know? Elsewhere this afternoon, a man accused of murdering a heavily pregnant woman and also killing her unborn baby has appeared before magistrates in South London. His news beats not me, Iqbal. Kelly Mary Favrell was stabbed to death at her house last month. The 26 year old son was delivered by paramedics at the time, but died in hospital four days later. Nah, nah, I'm not feeling this. This is bad news. I want good news. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Island anthem. Uh, house. Let's stick it with a house on. plenty of you guys oh by the way what's up guys Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV thank you for tuning in today much love I appreciate every single one of you today I'm just gonna cut long story short I'm in bits right now okay shoulder messed up upper back and neck is all like tight because of the shoulder knee that's messed up got a strap on it my wrist that's messed up I'm in bits, and I'm not doing too great, right? I haven't trained properly, you guys saw the last workout. I haven't trained properly upper body for 11, 12 days. We've worked up to 80 kilos on the bench, and that is as high as we are gonna go today. It feels okay, which means it's very tempting to go above that 80 kilos, but for today, that's where we're capping it. Done a couple of sets of 80 kilos, we're gonna do one more, then we're gonna move on. Today will be heavily compound focused, but mainly upper body. Um, and I'm just gonna take it light, I'm gonna take it easy, I'm gonna take it steady. The shoulder is getting better, which is the main issue, you know, obviously I'm not training legs today, but I just got this on because it's feeling a bit tender. My wrist, you know, I can make do with that, but if my shoulder's messed up, then 
it's game over, you know? So, you've got to take it easy, take it steady. Put the ego to one side and just do what you got to do to stimulate the muscles, you know? So it's going to be a good one. Drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Thank you once again for tuning in. Let's get into it. I let you get to me once now, baby. But I'll never let you win again. I let you get to me once now, baby. But I'll never let you win again. I let you get to me. I let you get to me. Get to me. I let you get to me. I let you get to me. Get to me. I let you get to me. I let you get to me. Get to me. I let you get to me. I let you get to me. Now a lighter, um, almost deload type of workout definitely does not mean. You know, I'm sweating, does not mean you have to take it too easy. You know, you can still have an intense, good session without it being, you know, 100 kilos on the bench press, 100 kilos on the shoulder press. That doesn't necessarily, that's not a sign of a good workout. You can still have a good, solid, intense workout without absolutely smashing every single lift, aiming for a PB every single time. And I think that's something that I have been doing for a while now, obviously I had the shoulder press goal, you know, I want to maintain my bench press as much as possible whilst in this deficit, whilst I'm in this cutting phase. And it means and it has meant that I've, I've pushed myself a lot, probably more so in terms of progressive overload or just maintenance of the lifts, push myself more so than I would have otherwise, you know, if I wasn't in this, in this dieting phase, restric restricted calories, trying to maintain muscle mass and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, I mentioned a minute ago about me being kind of a bit beat up, a bit battered, right? I've got, got my wrist, I've got my shoulder, I've got my knee. I mean, yes, some of those things are genetic. You know, my dad has bad knees and you know, that, that's kind of just inherited. And I guess the wrist is too, actually, and the shoulder. Cheers, dad. <laughs> but I still think that a lot of what is going on right now in terms of with my body, is down entirely to me, you know, I've been smashing it in the gym and, and smashing, well, smashing it essentially in every session going in saying, right, I've got to do this today, I've got to smash this today and that simply is not the case, I've had no kind of deload except for not being able to train really because of this shoulder, that's not a deload, that's just not training, you know, um, I think a lot of it is self-inflicted on the basis that I've been pounding it and pounding it and pounding it in the gym and there's been very little emphasis on recovery. You know, I have, my sleep is kind of all over the place, right? These videos, I tend to edit them at like two in the morning, you know, it's when the ideas flow, it's when my brain just seems to just work. I have all these ideas, I have to write them down in my phone and then I have to edit them, I have to edit up what I've already done because I'm in a rush to get it up on time. And I end up, to be honest, not sleeping as much as I should do. Obviously that can have a massive, massive effect on recovery. If I'm not fully recovered and I'm still hitting the gym five, six times a week, that's pounding, pounding, pounding. I don't do a lot of the stuff that I probably should do for someone who trains the amount that I train. I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong, I always make sure I hit my protein intake. If I feel like I haven't had enough protein, I'll work out what I've had and then I'll more than likely have a shake or something like that to hit the protein, top it up. But you need more than that. If you're hitting the gym five, six times a week, you need to be doing mobility work, you need to be doing stretches, you need to consider going to see a physio, going to see like a, a massage therapist, some like deep tissue massage, something like that. You, you need to be doing something, otherwise you're just gonna batter and batter and batter yourself. You're gonna wear yourself down and end up with a bad wrist, a bad shoulder and a bad knee and you know? So I feel like from this moment forward, from today, I'll be putting a lot more emphasis on recovery within my training um, for longevity purposes, for health purposes, joint health. The little things like the fish oils, glucosamine, stuff like that, might consider you know, supplementing with, with, um, with those as well. They're meant to be good for joint health. And a lot of my problems are joints, knee, wrist, shoulder. But anyway, that's the plan. Today's session's going good though, the shoulder is holding up nice, don't get me wrong, it feels weird, it feels tight, but it's going good. Gonna take it easy, gonna carry on. Keep pushing forwards, and then stretch when we're done. Yeah. 
Um, so, we've gone for 50 kilos on the shoulder press today. We've gone down to 80 on the bench instead of 90. We've done body weight pull ups, but just, you know, as many as we could. And we've taken 10 kilos off of the shoulder press as well. I would normally shoulder press 60 for eight reps. We've gone for 50. I would normally bench press 90 kilos for six to eight reps, and we did 80. So, kind of just gonna stick with that theme today. A couple more, uh, couple more little bits. Now we're getting some isolation work. Get blood pumping, feeling good, feeling positive. Let's do this. <laughs> You still asleep there, Flicky? Hmm? You're still asleep. Oh. Good girl. Yeah, one massive, oh, sick hair, Liam. One massive advantage of having a home gym is that you get to come out and chill with the pups in your rest time. Don't you? <laughs> you? Right, that's enough rest back to work. Right, I think that'll do for the session in the garage for the day. But, as you guys know, still doing cardio on upper body days. So, I suppose we should get going on that, shouldn't we? Yesterday, as of the day of filming this, it's currently Monday, um, was the Wimbledon final, the World Cup cricket final. There was a ton of British sport on. And I'm in the lounge with a TV that works as a TV. The TV in the garage works for YouTube, Netflix, Amazon, all that kind of stuff. But this one has actual TV on it. And so I moved the bike in here and to be honest, I just haven't moved it back yet. So here goes nothing. One hour later. One hour on the bike, purely because um, we've got some ground to make up for the past kind of few days or the past like 10, 11 days. Or like 12 days, I've got a really itchy head. Ah. I didn't actually do, other than a couple of sessions, um, I was over at Charlotte's as you guys saw in the last couple of videos, um, and I did cardio twice, when in that time I should have done it three or four times. So we're just kind of making up for a bit of, bit of lost ground, you know? And uh, as I am Mr. Recovery now, we are gonna be doing a tad of foam rolling. Jeez, how is this looking? I've had this strap on my leg. Um, just because, you know, it's been giving me a bit of grief the past few days. And so I was like, right, I'm gonna go on the bike for a while and I'm just gonna stick it on for a few hours while I, while I train and all that kind of stuff. Um, and to be honest, it 
it helped a bunch, you know, it kept the area nice and warm because that's something that I actually struggle with um, personally, especially my knees. Um, you know, my quad can be boiling hot, like pumped full of blood, warm as it should be, and my calf the same, but then if you touch my actual kneecap, it, um, it can sometimes be stone cold, you know, like literally stone cold. Um, and so something like that, a wrap when it's a bit tender, or just, you know, straps or something, um, I'm going to be using a little bit more, um, because it seems to help, so why not, you know? So I'm going to stretch, use the foam roller, and then probably demolish one of these bars. I'm not too sure which one I'm feeling, but uh, I will be having one of those just to kind of tide me over until dinner because it's like half past five now, so I'll probably have dinner at about seven. I don't want to eat a meal now, but I'm hungry for a meal now, but something like this will subside me until, until then, so. <sighs> yeah. This is also one of those things, guys, that I need, I need your guys' help with it, you know? In terms of my recovery, in terms of stretching, and I always warm up, always have done, always will do, always done a, a very in-depth warm up, but then my, my aftercare, if you like, tends to be not as good. So if I'm not showing you guys it, pull me up on it. Someone drop a comment and say, how's the, how's the post-workout kind of process going? Keep me, keep me on on track, you know, because I, I can see myself flagging with it, but I'm saying I'm going to commit to it, so keep me on track, you know, I, I need you guys, together we will grow, help me out here, please. Mm. I've been with them oh been with them like all day. All day. They've been with me in the gym, we've been on walks, been in, playing in the garden. And you're still not tired, are you pups? Hmm? You're still not tired. Go on then, go and get a toy. Right guys, so check this. Poor little Jesse pup has epilepsy. Um and so obviously she needs medication for said epilepsy um, to stop her having seizures and stuff. So, I mean, they're already there because I'm talking, but normally... There you go. So little Jessie Pup's got to get all of this down there. With a few treats, of course. Come, 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 come. Sit. <laughs> good girl, Jessie. Open wide. Open wide. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Some more. There you go. Never girls. And that is it. For tonight anyway, eh Jess? Yeah, go on then, it has been a minute, so go and play again. Now this is completely unrelated to today's video, but I just have to say, oh my goodness, I have pulled it out the bag with tonight's dinner. Muscle food, chicken, half a packet of rice, ton of veg, ready for Love Island. Boom! <sighs> well, 20 minutes, if you're still watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you! Very much, seriously though. This is graduation episode 99, people. Episode 99. And this is going up on Wednesday, which obviously would correspond to episode 100 being live on Sunday. 
Now, it's not really much of a secret anymore. That, you know, the new series is coming. It's coming thick and fast, and it could potentially be here on Sunday. I want episode 100 to go live on Sunday, but then I will also would like the new series to go live this weekend sort of thing. It would just work out well for, for me anyway. Um, so if I upload episode 100 on Saturday, which is a very special day for me, it would kind of make sense and I think it would be the perfect ending to the graduation series, I really do. Um, and if I upload that on Saturday, then it, that would kind of become clear and it would make sense. Um, I'm not going to say why or anything, you know, but Saturday is a very special day to, to me and pretty much me personally, just me. Um, so I guess I'm kind of asking for permission, if you like. Not that I have to, but I'm kind of letting you guys know that, you know, you're going to get three videos this week. You're probably you're going to get today's, you're going to get Sunday's. Um, and within the next seven days, there will be three videos live. Whether that video is live on, on Saturday or Monday or whatever, I don't know. I'm kind of figuring it out and I'm going to use my Instagram poll as kind of a, a good reference for that. I'll know by the time this video goes live and you guys can just sit there and get excited for it. But I'm very excited to bring you... Um, a lot, a lot. I have a lot of notes, a lot of ideas, and I can't wait to share them all. It's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be really freaking cool. So, graduation, episode 99. Job done. Flexibility, mobility, stretching, foam rolling, massages. That's the gist that you can kind of take from this, but. Yeah, it was a good title though, wasn't it? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you as always. Together, we will grow. And I will see you in episode 100.